good morning today i'm gonna do some more wildlife photography it's a pretty dark morning and it's supposed to be cloudy the whole day so weather is not optimal but since i'm just starting out with wildlife i just want to try all kinds of different weathers to learn stuff so let's see what we can get today we're going back to the same place as in the last video fast on asset i felt like this was a really good place to practice wildlife and uh, i like the surroundings a beautiful place pretty close to where i live and uh, i definitely feel like i'm not done with this place so today i'm going here Here is the old military bridge. This bridge was built 120 years ago so that they could easier put artillery, artillery on this island out here to protect against Russia 120 years ago. Uh, and still today it's nice to have a bridge over here not only to protect against Russia but also to do some wildlife photography I'm gonna put my bike here it's actually pretty new to me to take the bike I've lived in Stockholm for like 20 years never been biking before because I've been afraid of the traffic and because it's so convenient to take the subway but now I want to save some money and also to many places it's actually faster to take the bike uh, so I'm borrowing my wife's bike and it's a very nice feeling I love it okay let's see if we can find any animals around here so far I'm not seeing that much but let's walk around for a bit I'm doing some experimentation with the filming when it comes to wildlife today I'm trying a chest strat action camera DJI action 2 just to make it as convenient as possible for me so that I can focus on learning the lens and taking photos and I have no idea how this will come out but yeah I just want to try it to see I've been walking around for a while now maybe 20 minutes haven't seen any birds or any other wildlife at all so I guess that is one learning from today that Birds tend to be a lot more active when it's sunny. On days like these, not so much. Oh, some birds. Yeah, you probably can't see them due to the wild ang wide angle, <laughs> but they're out there, lots of them. Let's sit here and wait for a while and see what happens. Today I brought a lens hood. And I'm gonna try this thing for some support. I know it's not optimal, but it's a pretty simple way of getting a little bit of support when you're down low. So let's see if it works. Going to my wildlife setting, which is basically shutter priority with the aperture set to as low or as wide as possible. And then auto ISO. Because I feel like in wildlife, the most important aspect of the settings is the shutter speed. So that is what I want to control. I want it to be high when there is a lot of movement and when I have little support. And I can have it low when something is still and I have a lot of support. And then I'll let the ISO sort itself out. But now the bird seems to be gone again. Well, let's go look. Okay, so here they are again. <laughs> I 
I wonder if it was me who scared them. I mean, they are pretty far away. Well, that's a bummer. Well, even if I find nothing to photograph today, it's a very beautiful day and a very relaxing, nice walk. So, that's something. There is this beautiful little bird up here that digs into the bark of trees. I saw it the last time I was here as well. I know nothing about birds. I can barely even recognize a duck. So please help me out with identifying the different species. They are so up high in the trees. Okay, after like 40 minutes of walking around I got yeah, at least one bird photo. <laughs> Maybe not that good, but it's a start. It's always a great feeling when you take the first photo and then you kind of really get get into the zone. At least it feels like that for me. Let's keep looking. So there are a lot of birds over there. I have no idea if they just hang around there temporarily or if it's some kind of home base. I'm gonna attempt to walk to come from the left there and see if they are still there when I get there. Let's try. Yeah, so of course the birds are gone. <laughs> but maybe I should settle down here somewhere and just wait until they come back. Okay, sat here for like 15 minutes, nothing, no birds came close, <laughs> so let's, let's move on. So it's been like two and a half hours and I still barely caught anything, I don't think I have a single good photo. This is kind of unusual for me. In macro photography, it pretty much never happens that I don't get something in two hours. Um, I'm gonna make one last try to go back to where I photographed the swans the last time. And uh, after that, I think I will have to go home because I'm starting to get hungry. A crow sitting on a treetop. Yeah, the light is basically shit, so it didn't turn out that good. I also saw a woodpecker from a bad angle, unfortunately. Let's look a little bit more down here. So I've been walking around now here trying to get some good shots for three hours now and uh, I didn't get anything today <laughs> nothing <laughs> almost no photos at all and definitely not any good ones uh, I'm pretty sure of that um, but I'm still happy 
because I really enjoyed this walk. It was such a beautiful three hours by myself out in nature. Or actually, it wasn't completely by myself because today I was unlucky enough to have like a school class having some kind of recreation day. So there were screaming children running around the whole island uh, during my walk here. And I'm guessing that that did not help with my wildlife photography. <laughs> well, well, um, I guess that's the kind of uh, days we have sometimes. Sometimes we're lucky, sometimes we're not. So, um, yeah, I'm happy I had a good time and uh, I'm looking forward to going here again some other day, maybe when the weather is better and uh, yeah. See you soon again in another video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Did you know that the future of this YouTube channel relies heavily on support by viewers like you? For $5 per month you can support this YouTube channel and in return you will get access to my library of 15 bonus videos. I make a new Patreon exclusive bonus video every month. The latest one for example is where I edit raw files from my Patreon supporters. I also do photo critiques, I do uh, exclusive macro photography adventures that nobody except my Patreon supporters get to see. So please consider supporting me on Patreon. It is very much needed and very much appreciated.